Hi, this is Dr. Jenny and I'm in Excel 2013 Professional Plus. Uh, as you recall, you get Office Professional Plus 2013 and we're in Excel right now. And as you'll see across the tab here, I have all kinds of add-ins that I can put into uh, here, including my Power Pivot. Um, I want to show you though a um, couple of things that I think that you will find interesting. Here's my data that's in a table and then on sheet 4 I've done some uh, work here so that I, I have a slicer here for choosing the sector and so you can see that I can um, route through these different sectors and my chart below is, is changing along with the name of the uh, title. I've got the chemical here going which shows me my top one customer. I can actually drill down and show just my maybe my top two customers and go uh, here to show my top two customers. It'll show those in um, the months here. Uh, I can also just unfilter that by going back to this and showing um, you know that I have my top 10 or, or however I want. I've got all this information that's very interactive. And let's say that I want to be able to share that online with some other folks. And what we have now when we uh, go into Save As, uh, when you install your Office 2013, you're going to have an option that will allow you to save directly to your drive, your, what's called your OneDrive. Now I'm in the info right now here to show you a, a specific thing because when I'm in the um, info and, and of course now obviously I've got here to OneDrive but you'll see I have computer OneDrive and I can even add a place. So on my OneDrive personal folder here's my different folders that I have up there and I'm going to leave this in the interactive folder and save and so I just go ahead and say save that. Um, I've already done this one so I could kind of show you. And now what I what would like to do is I'm going to uh, bring up my browser and we're going to log into the OneDrive. I've got some things here in the background and my computer is running rather slowly. So I'm going to minimize this so that we can get it in here so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to go to my OneDrive. And I will log in. In my OneDrive, um, you know, I can share an entire folder. I can just share uh, a document. And so, you know, I, when you go to this the first time, you may see sign up. I've, I'm going to sign in and enter my email address, which is what how I have it set up and I'm using the OneDrive personal. Now you could use the OneDrive for business but I believe there's a charge for that. There's probably a free demo uh, for a while but um, you will sign in so you can see this. Now now that I'm in my OneDrive and you're going to see um, specifically your files, your recent docs, anything that's been shared with you um, and it'll it'll show up here in just a second. But for example, uh, if I go over here to my shared, it's going to show items that have been shared with me. So for example, the CODA director, uh, the Council on Domestic Abuse, I'm on the, that board, has shared uh, several different things with me. Um, and then if I go here, you're going to see the different files that I have uh, here. And if I go into my documents, you'll see that I have um, an, a folder that I called interactive uh, that is basically where I have kept that that uh, workbook that I call sharing interaction. What I want to show you here is if I click on let me move this over so you can see this a little better. If I click on this you'll see that I can actually work in these uh, files uh, so, for example, if I want to create a file, I could. I can just up upload something here. Um, but if I want to open up this sharing file, or this interaction file that I created here, um, and it is, we're opening it up on online. And I need to close what I have already. Let's see. Let me pop 
pause. Oh. Okay, finally. As you can see, this is actually open in my Excel online. I'm in the tab here, and um, I can actually make this interact. Uh, you can see uh, the the graph down here below. Um, you know, I'll go back to apparel here, and you can see that I can change it to the top five customers. Uh, we'll put it in electronics, and you can see all those things. I'm going to remove that filter, and then what I want you to notice here is that I have across the top here I have edit the workbook so I could edit it um, I could also do a share and I can share or I can embed this document in my blog um, so and even if I put it in my blog it's going to be interactive but if I just want to share with people I can put this in here and I can uh, get a link here if I want or I can invite people to it um, if I want to do the embed um, you know if I want to share it in, in, and embedded in my blog, I generate what's called HTML, HTML code, and <clears throat> basically, you know, here's my size, and maybe I want it to be much taller, and maybe I want it to be a little bit wider as well. So, you, it basically, what I'm doing here is resizing it, uh, trying to see if I can pick up. I think I want it a little bit wider so that the, the people that would actually see it and embed it, it wouldn't be something that they had to scroll down. They'd get all this information. And then essentially, here's my embed code down here at the bottom. Uh, let me pull this up a little bit so that you can see. There's my embed code right here that I could put right into my wiki or my uh, whatever. So essentially what I've tried to show you here is just a quick way to use this uh, Excel online. I'm going to X out of this and we're back here to the uh, data right here that you see that is very interactive. So hopefully this helps you see how to actually put a dashboard up online and be able to share it.